What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Jay Buck, back with some more real stories for you. Today I have a pretty good one for you. A few different ways I like to rig a soft plastic swim bait. different ways to rig a soft plastic swim bait. And I'm talking hollow bellies, I'm talking full paddle tails, all sorts of different ones. Three inches to four inches, right around that realm, that finesse tactic from the bank. Number one, you probably throw it, maybe you don't, but an underspin. I love that owner, flashy swimmer, 3 16 ounce, and it's it's amazing. I got a Kitek on it right here. I believe this is their 3.3 fat swinging packed. One of my favorite baits, this time, Green Pumpkin Fire. I love throwing this bait. For one, guys, it's just completely weedless. You, I mean, that's that's the number one reason. From the bank, you know there's a lot of grass, a lot of debris, a lot of wood to fish through. And then second, obviously, it's that underspin, that blade on the bottom. The beauty of this bait, in my opinion, is you can swim it. I mean, from the bank, it gets shallow quick, so you can get that deep water if you have it. But just dragging this blade across the bottom as you creep this bait will really draw a ton of bites. Now I have a couple different baits I like to throw on this. I'll link all these things down below, the hooks, my favorite baits, the few different tactics we have here today. But as you saw, that was a Kitek. I like throwing the Kitek. I really like the Spanky from Netbait. It's a really nice profile. I really like the tail on this. Creates a little bit of thump. Bunch of different great colors. And then another one I really like throwing it on is actually a Cabela's bag. Yep, I know. You guys don't typically go with these big house bags, but Cabela's Swim Minnow is a bomb bait, guys. This is an all-white profile, but that boot tail is nice. I like how it kicks up, and it's really slender. You get a lot of action out of that bait. Now, I have an empty one over here. I'll rig that up for you real quick and show you how you do it. You've got... A nice screw lock in the bait, right there, I'll show you. Not very big, simple. But you take your bait, you take this Kitek Easy Shiner here, take it, nose of the bait, screw it right on in. So you can start that weedless profile. And then basically from here, just a simple Texas rig. Right up through the bait, text pose it, you got yourself a weedless bait straight money guys try it if you haven't but number one way for me weedless underspin all right second up now this bait or this head is amazing you may throw it you better throw it if you don't after this video mega bass okashira head eighth ounce three out hook and it's a tiny little head guys this is one of my favorite baits I believe it's like five, six bucks for a pack of three. Get them in 16th ounce, eighth ounce, fourth, fourth ounce, or quarter ounce. But I really like this eighth ounce head and it's money. It's got a little screw, screw head here. It's called the Okashira screw head for a reason. They have a typical Okashira head that's basically the same head with no, with no propeller on it. But it's got a little propeller, you can see right there. Spins when your bait runs through the water. I cannot tell you how much this is a smallie smashing bait, guys. I love throwing it on a Bass Pro Speed Shad, their little three inch, all sorts of great colors. I really like their bluegill flash presentations and then some sort of smallmouth magic. It's really great. These baits are not expensive and you get a ton. Their packaging honestly sucks, look how giant this is, but sometimes you gotta take the lumps. Great bait, I, I love it. I mean, I've got it even, I've already got it hooked up right now. I was throwing it yesterday, we were smashing some large mouth on it but I'll tell you the small mouth really love this bait simple bait you're just gonna straight retrieve it you can rejig it if you want but I stick with this straight retrieve and then this blade spins and then your paddle tail kicks behind it and it really makes this bait do a lot of head head wobbling through the water simple bait to rig you just slide the bait up on your hook straight up over that keeper there it's a really nice keeper you can see for the price of this bait 
and no problem. Just gotta get your bait up. Right before the head, there's a little cup right there to make sure you don't go too far, and then you don't wanna pin this propeller. You wanna make sure it's still free swinging. So again, Mega Bass, Okashira head, screw head, dynamite bait will catch you a ton of fish. Love to throw it up point, love to throw it through the grass. It's relatively weedless, but you can catch some grass on the way through, but never stop me from throwing it. This is a absolute smasher of a bait. Throw it, I'm telling you. All right, third up, last of the day. A nice, I got this little dummy rig for you. I love throwing it on a drop shot. Oh man, guys, whether that's uh, weedless through an EWG wide small wide gap or some sort of nose hook wacky hook I love throwing it on a drop shot it's it's an it's an absolute killer of a bait I love throwing this up around docks right outside of weed beds um, I'm really throwing between uh, a quarter ounce and three sixteenths ounce I just I love throwing it on it's, it's these are all thrown honestly on the same rod so you can really get away with whatever you want couple different baits a couple different trailers and you have a lot of options out on the water but again a drop shot today I've got it rigged up this is a VMC hook with a weed guard on it it's really nice and then I've got the round ball weight up on the bottom just so you guys can see what I'm using throwing that between 3 16 and a quarter ounce as well I really prefer I got to say I got the round ball weight but I really prefer throw it on the Wu Tungsten Invisishot. This is really nice. It's today we got a quarter ounce right here. I love it because the head, the weight is stamped into the head. You can see that it says quarter ounce right here. Let's see if you can see that in the camera. I cannot tell, but it says quarter ounce and you have no problems remembering. You can't bring everything when you're fishing from the bank and that is important. You can also do it on this type of uh, a weight as well. I like throwing that. I'll throw this more in the lead just so if I need risking to lose some stuff I'm not losing all my favorite stuff in one outing but again drop shot is money I have that hooked up don't know where my bag is I can't remember what that baits called uh, let me see here it is called the Cabela's the shad tail this is a tiny little finesse bait it's got a fat belly and it's got a tiny little tail so it's a nice little compact package really great for throwing that weedless setup and that nose hook setup I really like that another Cabela's bait that I throw is their hoochie coochie yeah <laughs> it's crazy name of a bait but it's based on another paddle tail but it's got a really thin backside into the tail you're gonna lose a couple of these because this is really I don't know it's really frail so if you get nipped at you're gonna lose it and you can see how it kinks up it's not my favorite but it works if you can keep them laying flat but again I'll throw that on some tiny little EWG straight text pose it on a hook like this and that's cash money guys so colors I'm gonna link all that below my favorite colors I type to keep it simple some green pumpkins some blue flake baits silver shad minnows whites those are my primary colors and then I also throw in some reds here and there but I'll link all that down below, like I said, with the gear and everything I'm throwing this on. As I alluded to earlier, all these base guys are thrown on the same rod. I mean, you can throw it on all sorts of different gear, but if you only have one to take with you, I'm looking at basically a seven foot to, I mean, a six foot 10 to a seven foot medium spinning rod. Simple enough, got 10 pound braid to uh, either a six to eight pound leader. I'm typically throwing a Sunline their eight pound fluoro leader really likes material and i like their sniper as well but all again same rod for all these tactics this isn't a rochi this isn't a high-end setup but you guys don't need that i'll link some uh, models that i think are pretty good at a decent price point again you can see i got that okashira head right here and we're going to be smashing them from bass to pike to even some giant slab panfish guys these tactics are going to catch you some more fish when out on the water. Well, there you have it, guys. A couple different ways to fish the finesse swim bait. Three inches to four inches. Find your favorite bait. Rig up these styles and catch you some fish. If you like this video, if you learned something, give it a like, subscribe, comment, do what you do, and I'll catch you in the next video.